Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, Ana Graciela. Good evening, uh, Diana. Good evening, Blanca. Good evening, Floricia. Good evening, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, hello. Good evening, teacher. Uh, hello, Jamilet. Hello. Good to how see was, you. How was, your week? how was your weekend, teacher? Wow, I was awesome because I rested a lot. Oh really? Yeah, I was on bed the whole the whole. I mean, on on Saturday I was like drinking some coffee, having some with some sweet bread, and uh, you know on oh. Sunday. Oh, uh, good I, for you. Yeah, I mean, and I attended to to church on Sunday. It was fantastic. Actually, what about you? Uh I just uh take a nap in my house, uh, cooking for my family, wow, yeah, and that's, that's awesome. it. But that is really good, right? <laughs> to cook for family, have a great time together. I yes. Mean, I think there's no other time but, but that one. I mean, that's the best time when you share with your family. Is that right? Yes. It is actually, right? Well, I can see Rommel is here. Uh, also, Imelda. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, good to see you. Hope oh. you're ready to have your English class for tonight. I have a lot of work to do, as always. And unfortunately, we only have one hour, right? So, But I think one hour is enough, right, to, to study a little bit of English. There is somebody else. Okay, hi me, Ivan. Okay, good evening, hi me, Ivan. Welcome. And let me see. Anibal got into the class. Maria Wendy got into the class. Hello, Maria. Good Wendy. evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you here. And also Anibal. Hi, Anibal. How's everything there? Hope everything's all right. Sure. Uh, good to see you in the class. Hey, I don't know, but over here it's raining. I don't know if there it's raining. Is it raining there? Is it raining? In, in the way, no. Not actually. Over here it's raining a little bit. Hopefully we're not going to face any problem with the, with the internet. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully we're going to have a great time together. Nelson is just getting over here to the class. And uh, well, let us wait a little bit so that the rest of the people can gather, can get into the class. Nelson, hello, Nelson. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you here. Now you came with all the powers, right? <laughs> you you got some energy during the weekend, right? I hope tonight you are very energetic and that you are like participating all the time. Well, that would be really nice, okay? Because when you participate, classes become better. Okay, so let me see, I can see uh, someone else there, Elmer. Here, teacher. Okay, good to see you, Elmer. Well, we're gonna start. I have 15 people with chocolate attendance. You know, that is the first step to start with in the class. Then we're gonna see some topics. Okay, especially we're gonna see some topics about uh, places in the town. Well, list attendance in a very quick way. Let me see if, if I am not mistaken. Uh, hey. All right. Now, yes, Ana Graciela. In I am teacher. Excellent, Ana Graciela. Thanks for being on time here. Ana Graciela, today is the fourth, right? Ana Graciela. Okay. Anderson? 
Jeremy. Armando Antonio. Armando Antonio. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. All right, Blanca Stephanie is on here. And uh, Carlos Aníbal. I saw Carlos Aníbal. I don't know if he's facing problems with microphone. Cecia. Uh, Diana Patricia. I'm here, teacher. Good. Elmer. I'm here, teacher. Good. Elsa Noelia. I'm here. Okay, Floricia. I saw Floricia. Present, teacher. All right, Ingrid. Esmeralda. Jaime Ivan. Hi. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Karina Jamilet. I'm here, teacher. Good. Carla Gabriela. Kenny. Present, teacher. Excellent, Kenny. Maria Imelda. Present, teacher. Maria Imelda, Kenny. I, right. I, am, I am here. Excellent. Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Marisol. Present teacher. Good. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Rommel. Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Alberto. Present teacher. Great. Pretty good. Awesome. Now, once again, just in case people got into the into yeah. the class now. Anderson. Armando Antonio. Cecia eh, Gemina, Ingrid Esmeralda, and Carla Gabriela. Okay, so later I will check this attendance. Again, don't worry. Hello. Eh, cuando me mencionó, se me fue la señal, pero aquí estoy. Okay, Aníbal. Aníbal, right? Eh, y tengo una duda. Eh, el... Jueves anterior estuve en clase toda la hora y me llamaron de inglés corporativo que no me había conectado. Oh, give me a second, please. Aníbal. Oh, jueves 31. Yes. Eh, Anders, no, pero sí, aquí está Aníbal. Aquí, ah, okay. aquí sí tiene la asistencia. Ah, 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 no, 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 perdón, no, 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 Aníbal. Dice que. Ah, no la tengo. Ajá. Eh, sí, pero las dos veces que pasó lista, eh, sí contesté. Sí, no entiendo por qué no. Y inclusive aquí le aparece que estuvo 58 minutos. Pero ya lo corregí, ¿Sí? Aníbal. Ya lo corregí. Ok, gracias. Ok, very good. Ok, eso sí, eso sí está muy bien, que estén atentos de, de su porcentaje en la asistencia, en las actividades. De hecho, fin de semana yo eh, reporté ya las notas de las primeras semanas de, de, de inglés. Okay. Si todavía no han terminado sus actividades, pueden hacerlo. Yo, eh, pues, este, les solicito que lo hagan, la verdad, para que no se queden con un eh, porcentaje eh, bajo en sus actividades. Pero la mayoría sí logró cumplir. Esperaría que los demás pues, pues, también lo, lo hagan. Well, we're going to start with the class. I will share uh, the topic that we're going to start with tonight. So we're going to work a little bit fast because I have... A lot of info to share with you and you know in order to get familiarized with the with the activity well we have the topic with 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 us in a platform ah i will make a parenthesis voy a hacer un paréntesis por ahí hay una persona que ya completó todas las tareas y eso está muy bien okay si alguien va 
digamos, semana terminada, semana de actividades completadas, pues eso está, tan, está bien también, pero es... Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good Sorry. Evening. Oh, ok, don't worry, we'll check list of things later. Thank ok, uh, pueden adelantar actividades. Si ustedes adelantan, pues, uh, se pueden familiarizar con los temas que vienen a... Que, que se aproximen. Es, es bueno también que se puedan, pues, eh, familiarizar con... Oh, lo siento, Cecia, voy a tratar de hablar un poco más claro. Ok. So, and, you know, well, the topic for tonight is to learn vocabulary for places places right stores and other places where you can get different things okay so that is the topic for tonight and actually there is a there is a video over here after the video we're gonna play it a little bit because you know we have a lot of info tonight i will try to uh let me see let, let me know if you can listen to it do you listen Yeah, sure. no. Yeah, no? No, 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 no. Okay, so give me a second, please. Yes. I don't know. Some people say yes and some more say no. Let me see. I, I will try to do it once again. I'm sorry. Now, I think I solved the problem. Listen, listen again, please. For stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One. Listen and practice. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Uh, hey, where can you buy an aspirin? Hello, where can you get an aspirin? Where can you get an aspirin? Listen once again. You can buy bread at a soup. Give me a second. You can buy I... aspirin at a drugstore. Uh -huh. Where can you get a, an aspirin? At a drugstore, right? Listen. Two. Number two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Yeah, where can you get some bread? In a supermarket. At oh, the supermarket. supermarket. Three. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Where can you get a dictionary? A bookstore. A bookstore. Ah, you can get a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Hey, where can we get some gasoline? In a gas, gas station. station. At a gas station. Five. Number five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Where can we get a sandwich? Restaurant. We can get a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. Number six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Hey, where can we get some stamps? Post office. Ah, we can get them at the post office. Seven. Number seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Hey, where can we get a sweatshirt? Department. At the department store. Department. Eight. Eight. You can buy traveler's <laughs> checks at a bank. Hey, where can we get some traveler checks? In the bank. At a bank. bank. At a bank. bank. At a bank. What I would like for you and that's bank. it, right? To practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can, can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Hi everyone. Now, in this class, later we're gonna get back with this info because I have some more information. I I think it would be really nice for you to see. It. I have this, and I hope you can see the information here. There is a game about some places. We're gonna try to solve it. Uh, this is a memory game. Okay, it's about vocabulary. We can find. Oh, uh, uh, what did I do? What did I do? I'm sorry. What did I do? That was my fault. No, I, I don't need any test. I need a game. And the game is about vocabulary. Okay. Places is the topic. 
So well, we're gonna see much the picture. Okay, listen please and, and try to remember. Listen and remember the vocabulary because we need to finish it very quickly. What is this? A bus stop. A bus stop. Bus stop. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tell me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. A police station. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh -huh. One. A bus stop. Six. Uh -huh. And six. Two, three, four, five, six. A playground. Okay. That's a playground. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yes. A police station. The police station. Thirteen mm -hmm. and? Uh, number mm -hmm. ten. Number ten. This one, right? A restaurant. That's a restaurant. Try to memorize it, okay? In a very quick way, please, people. Only, we're going to spend only five minutes here. So, tenemos cinco minutos. Twelve. Twelve. A museum. That's a museum. Number two. Number two. A police station. Ah, you got the police station, right? Police station is number... Thirteen. Number three. Number three. Thirteen. Huh? Thirteen. Two and thirteen. 13. A uh, 13, two, eh? Two, number two. Number two. Okay, we got one. Cinco minutos, okay? Tell me another one. Number three. Number three. A playground. Uh, you got a playground, right? Playground. Ten. And number six. Number six playground. A playground. Good memory. Good. Five and uh, eight. Five and eight. And eight. School, school, very good. <laughs> Send me another one. Number nine. Number nine. A supermarket. Number you got a supermarket. Sixteen. Sixteen. Train station. That's a train station, right? Uh huh. Very quickly. Fourteen. Please. Fourteen. A zoo. That's a zoo. Eighteen. Eighteen. A zoo. Oh, you got it. Pretty good. What else? You have good memory. Seventeen. Seventeen. A restaurant. That's a restaurant. Seventeen ten. And it's eighteen. A restaurant. Great. Very good. You have a restaurant. What else? What else can you can you see there? Eleven. 16. I would say eleven. Okay, eleven. A bus stop. That's a bus stop. One. Uh, number one. Number one. And number one. A bus stop. You got it. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. This one, right? A train station. That's a train station. Eleven. No. A train. a train station. Very good. So we're almost done with it. Four and twelve. Four and a supermarket. Twelve. Twelve and twelve. A museum. That's a museum, right? Four and six. Four and nine. Four. A supermarket. Four and nine. And nine. Four. A supermarket. Good. And finally, <laughs> number twelve. A museum. A number. Fifteen. A museum. A museum. A museum. Great job. You did it. Okay, in less than five minutes. Excellent. Pretty good. Now, good vocabulary, right? So, well, we're going to get back on here. So, places we have some vocabulary according to what we uh, study here. We're going to try to go over it 
and we have, for example, uh, in an audio. Okay, so we're gonna try to identify uh, different places like at the supermarket, at the department store, at the beach, a groceries, clothes, cookies for dessert, a swimsuit cookies, aspirin, uh, to the movies, to the drugstore, to get a newspaper, to the park, and that's it. And we're gonna go to it. Listen carefully. Listen carefully because it doesn't work. Well, I'll, I will try to, to see the info again. So it's an audio. You, I think you already uh, saw this activity. We're gonna go over it. Just Page right eighty-seven. Pay Exercise attention. two. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. We Part A. Jean. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. That was number one. Number two. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Number three. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. All right. And the last one, number four. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Dad, Dad. Okay, now. We're going to listen to it once again, and then you automatically will tell me what's the answer. At the supermarket, at the department store, at the beach, according to what you listen to. Here we go. For the department store. At the department store. At the department store is the first one. At the department one. store. Yes. Now, where is Jean going to buy the, the new uh, the, the, the swimsuit that she needs? Uh, at the department store. Is going to buy it. Store. At the department store. Number two, what does mom need from the supermarket? Cookies for, cookies the, dessert. for dessert. Uh, dessert. She needs cookies she needs... for dessert. Number dessert. three, what does dad need from the drugstore? Aspirin. aspirin. He, need, he needs aspirins. Where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the drugstore, to get a newspaper. To get a newspaper. So to the drugstore? To the drugstore. To get a newspaper. To get a newspaper. And that's it, right? And we're going we're gonna to check it. We're going to see. Great, great, great. And great. Excellent. Pretty good. So... I really like audios because, you know, we can practice a little bit with it. Now, then, let me see if we get it once again. We're going to listen to the last time so that we can identify some expressions on here. So in, in the first one, for example, eh, voy, a, voy a poner a, a sonar el audio nuevamente y ustedes me van a decir qué oraciones o qué expresiones completas escucharon de cada parte, ¿ok? Pueden tomar apunte, pueden, pues, um, recortar sin necesidad de escribir, pero lo importante es que identifiquemos eh, frases, oraciones. Here we go. Page 87, exercise 2. 
What number of page? 87. Ah, excellent, very good. <laughs> Listening. I need a new swimsuit. What does she need? A new she swimsuit. needs a swimsuit. Pen. What what did she say? I need a swimsuit. A I need suit. a swimsuit. Very good. Part A. Listen. Which part? A. 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 For a. a. Families conversations. What is the what what is the family's name? Anderson. And the Andersons, right? Good. Let me see. There is someone in the chat. Does Carla? Oh, okay, Carla. Don't worry. I will. Uh, don't worry because I will check list of at the end. Now, listen. What do they need? Uh huh. What do you listen to? What do, what they, do, need? They, need? What do they need? What do they yeah. need? Where are they going to buy them? Uh huh. Where are they going? Where to, are they going to buy them? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. Uh huh. Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Uh -huh. What did you get there? Tomorrow, I don't know. Listen, I will try to play it again. Let me see. I don't know if it is possible. Here we go. Uh, the problem is that it gets stuck. Se queda pausado si lo retrocedo. Let me see. I will try once again. This is going to be the last. No lo voy a detener mejor. Para que ustedes nada más vayan recogiendo aquellas frases que, que uh, escuchan con claridad. ¿Ok? Y al final me las comparten. Page 87. Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm gonna go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? All right. Now, I, I, I think you could get some expression from the conversations. Can you name, can you mention some? Dad has headache. Dad and, has a headache. And he needs an aspirin. He needs an aspirin, all right? What else did you can get? I, sure. Can I go with you? Can I go with you? Of course. Of course. Need any cookies? Do you need cookies? Okay. What's Very... around? Sorry? What, what's around? What's around? Okay, yes. don't worry. Don't worry because later you're gonna you're gonna have a homework assignment. Don't worry. Vamos a dejarlo tranquilo ahí un ratito. Vamos a vamos a familiarizarnos con otro vocabulario por acá. Hey, everyone, please. What's the vocabulary here? How do you say this in English? 
what did I do? What did I do? Uh -huh. I have some vocabulary here. How do you say this in English? I'm airport. 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 Now, to travel airport. by plane, you need to go to the airport. What is this? Bakery. 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 This is where you, this is where you can Bank. buy bread and cakes. Bank. 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 This is a place where you deposit, withdraw money, or cash a check. Bar. 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 Where drinks, especially mm -hmm. alcohol, drinks, and sometimes food are served. Bookstore. Bookstore. Bookshop. 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 You can buy book. You can buy books in magazines here. Bus station. Bus, bus station. station. To travel by bus, you can go to the bus station. Butchers. Butchers. Where you buy meat. Cafe. Cafe. This is where you can buy a cup of coffee. You can buy church, church. church. a religious church. place of Christian worship. Kurt, oh. where a judge works and where they have trials and law cases. Department store. Department store. Department store. A large shop divided into departments selling a great many kinds of goods such as clothes. Household appliances, etc. Cinema. 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 Movies. 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 Where you can see movies. Service Movie. station. Service station. Service station. Where motor vehicles are re refueled with gas or petrol. Service station sometimes repaired. It also called filling station or gas station. Gym. 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 Place where you can do exercise to keep fit. Hairdressers. Hairdressers. If you want to cut your hair, you may go here. Hospital. Hospital. A place for ill people when they need an operation or when someone is going to have a baby. Hotel. Hotel. A place that provides logins and usually meals and other services for travelers. Gallery. 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 A play for the exhibition of artistic work. Greens Grocers. Green Grocers. Where you can buy fruit and vegetables. Grocers Grocery Store. Grocers Grocery Store. Where you can buy food stuff and various household supplies. Jail. Jail. Prison. Uh, where criminals are sent by a judge. Laundromat. Laundromat. It's the service laundry, a place where you can wash your clothes in operated ma in, in coin operated machines. Library. 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 You can buy or borrow books here. Mall. More. More. A large, often enclosed shopping complex containing various store businesses and restaurants. Museum. 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 A place where objects or historical, artistic, or scientific interests are exhibited, uh, preserved, or studied. Motel. Motel. That's an establishment which provides login for motorists in rooms. That's why motel. Motorists, Motor. yeah, in rooms usually having direct access to an open parking area, parking lot, parking lot, parking lot. lot. where you can park your car. Pharmacy, 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 pharmacy. 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 or drugstore, Drug 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 place where drugs are sold. Okay, mm. police station. <clears throat> Station. The headquarters of a unit of a police force where those under arrest are first church. A post office. Post office. A place where post postage stamps are sold and other postal businesses yeah. is conducted. Pop. Pop. A place Pop. where you can buy a beer or other type of alcoholic drinks. Park. 
Park. Park. Park. Park. Park. Park. A Park. public Park. area kept its natural state and usually reserved for the enjoyment of creation and creation of visitors. Restaurants. Restaurant. Restaurant. You can eat something in a restaurant. School. A school. 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 Yeah. Where children learn. Train station or railway station? Train station or railway station. Supermarket. Supermarket. And zoo. And zoo. Very good. So we have a lot of vocabulary over here that may be very meaningful. So let me see. I also have another activity over here for you. Uh, no, but listen, we're going to get back to the platform. We're going to continue with this. Knowledge check. Uh, we're going to see some compound nouns. We're going to see the objective over here. Now it says that by the end of the this uh, part of the session, you will learn uh, to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Okay? Later, we're going to see some compound nouns. Uh, I will share also the information that uh, I share here. I mean, this link is it's really nice because you can see not only the um, not only the places, but also about the service they provide. Okay, so as you can see in the chat, you can get that vocabulary and try to memorize it. Okay. Oh, tomorrow I will ask about at least uh, 15 of them. Mañana voy a preguntar de la mayoría de, de ellos, ¿ok? Cómo se pronuncian, lo que significan. Ahí les compartí el enlace. Ahí tienen el enlace para que puedan visitar la página. Ok, importantísimo que se lo aprendan, ¿ok? Son lugares que uh, están en la ciudad. Now, I hope that you took notes about it. Now, we're going to go over something else. And this is also important because we're going to see some compound nouns, compound nouns, and also about pronunciation. I, I, you will see, I have some more in another link, uh, but the ones that appear here are perfect to start thinking about compound nouns. Uh, actually, what is a compound noun? Que es un nombre compuesto. Ok. Si ustedes se fijan, aquí tenemos office y tenemos past. Ambas hacen un solo nombre. Gas. And we have station. Rest. And we have room. Coffee. And we have shop. Drug. Drug store. Oh, supermarket. Sure. Bookstore. Department store. Listen, please, and try to repeat. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore, Drug supermarket, supermarket, bookstore, bookstore, department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. Pay attention, please. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So. Basically, anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, 
we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, Post office, restaurant, gas station, restaurant. coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, <coughs> department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website vocaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so I already introduced about compound nouns. And now as you can see over here, I want you Post I, office. I want you to tell me the way you pronounce these compound nouns. The first one? Post office. Post office. This one? Gas station. Gas, Gas station. station. As you can see, the word that's stressed out is the first one. Post office. We'll say post office. No. Post office. Post office. Gas station. 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 Gas Restaurant, coffee shop, shop. shop. drugstore, drug 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 supermarket, supermarket. supermarket. bookstore, bookstore. bookstore. department store. store. Okay, department store. okay I, want, I want to, I want to listen to you. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Department store. Great, 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 great. I really like the way you participate. As you can see, the first word is usually stressed out. It's the one that you are going to say louder. You know, louder, right? Coffee. You don't say coffee shop. No, you say coffee shop. So it's the opposite, oh. right? So it's like uh, in, the, in this one, for example, you know, it goes up. They say gas and then station. Gas station. Gas. No, gas station. Gas station. Restroom, coffee shop, post office, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, so I think I think it did, it's it's clear, right? I think it is clear. Now we're gonna do something, people. We're gonna we're gonna do something over here. Well. Let me see. Oops, 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 oops. Let me see. Let me see. Well, there's the something now. Now, we saw about places and thing. We saw this exercise and we saw this exercise. We're going to see. Uh, well, we're going to. Let me see. We're gonna practice a little bit about about what's coming in places and thing, but I remember I had another link, which okay, this is the one. But I have compounds uh, words. What are you gonna do? Voy a compartir este enlace para que ustedes puedan visitarlo y puedan definir dónde está el estrés. De las palabras. Okay. Now, there you are. Okay, you are going to do something like this. Van a ir haciendo algo como lo que está aquí en el ejemplo. Por ejemplo, uh, we have. ¿Cómo pronuncian esto? Baseball. 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 Ah, okay. ¿Saben qué significa la, la, la ruedita más grande? Que pronunciar como más. Es que ahí va el estrés. Con la fuerza. Ahí va la fuerza. Y de ahí, la ruedita pequeñita. Menos fuerza. Ok. Ay, so, vamos a escuchar. 
Vamos a escuchar. De ellos, ustedes hacen las demás, ¿ok? Listen. Baseball. 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 Now, what about this one? Stop sign. Stop sign. Creo que algunos lo miran mejor ahí. Yes. Ok, yes. veamos. Yes. Stop sign. Stop sign. Ok, so, we're going to define. Ustedes lo van a hacer, ok. Es, no sé si en sus cuadernos, si tienen cuadernos por ahí. Pero necesito que lo identifiquen. Uh, we have syllable compound nouns. In the first word of a compound noun, it's more the like one syllable in, in length. The normally stressed syllable of the first word is the most stressed syllable of the entire compound. For instance, okay. in the open in compound, the open security card, the right. core syllable receives the most stress in the entire mm -hmm. compound because that is the normally stressed syllable of the first word. Look at this one. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Okay, guard. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Now, you have this one. Vayan copiándole y vayan poniéndole la ruedita donde ustedes consideren lleva el estrés más alto. Newspaper. 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 Okay, vayan copiándolo. Newspaper. Old frame. Vayan copiándolo Old y vayan poniéndole donde ustedes consideran lleva el, 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 la entonación más alta. Footprint. Footprint. Okay, it's a second Foot, one. Footprint. 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 Newspaper. You have to there, right? How are you taking notes? Pero que que estén tomando apuntes. Classroom. 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 Number uh -huh. four. Grandmother. Oh. Grandmother. There is a number four. Grandmother. Okay. Uh, classroom. Grandmother. And this is. Birthday. 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 Bathroom. 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 Keyboard. 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 Policeman. 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 Okay, sunburn. 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 Those are compound nouns, right? You know, every all, all of them are compound nouns. Set bond. Have number 10. Waterfall. 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 Now, hope you're taking a nose. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. room. In your room. Dining room. Dining room. It is not dining, it is dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Okay. Number three. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. Next one. Credit card. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. 
Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Solar power. Solar power. Solar power. Solar power. Solar power. Solar power. So we have a lot here, right? Solar fire. Solar power. Then we have fire alarm. Fire alarm. Fire alarm. Golf ball. Golf ball. And I think it's all right. So you see, you have a lot here. Uh, I don't know. Did I did I share the link? Ya les compartí el enlace, sí, verdad. Okay. So do me the favor to get to get this activity into your notebook. Okay, you will have five minutes, cinco minutos para completarlo en sus cuadernos y que nos vayan leyendo cómo se pronuncia este vocabulario. Okay, five minutes, people. Cinco minutos. Y de ahí voy a empezar a preguntar. A pedir participación de algunos de ustedes. Five minutes, you have five minutes. Pandemia, pero pese a la mejoría en términos de la inflación, el 56% de los estadounidenses desaprueba el manejo de la economía por parte de Biden. Good, Aníbal, I will send it to you. Teacher, disculpe que pueda repetir, lo escuché entreportado. Uh, okay, uh, I want you to take notes in your notebook. Quiero que obtengan la pronunciación de las palabras en sus cuadernos. Comparto el enlace por ahí por si alguien no lo, no lo logró copiar. Thank you. Five minutes, remember, five minutes for you to pronounce and reproduce the, the words here. Stop sign. Stop sign. Security guard. Security guard. Newspaper. Newspaper. Footprint. Footprint. A classroom. Classroom. Grandmother. Birthday. Bathroom. Keyboard. Policeman. Policeman. Sunburn. Waterfall. Roller coaster. Dining room. Credit card. Middle school. Middle school. Bus pass. Bus pass. Swimming pool. Stop sign. Stop sign. Solar power. Solar power. Fire alarm. Golf ball. Stop. 
stop sign. Security guard. Newspaper. Newspaper. Footprint. Footprint. Classroom. Classroom. Grandmother. Grandmother. Birthday. Birthday. Bathroom. Bathroom. Keyboard. Keyboard. Policeman. Supper. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Dining room. Dining room. Credit card. Credit card. Middle school. Middle school. Bus pass. Bus pass. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Stop sign. Stop sign. All right. I think we have you had enough time, right? So in order to get the, the pronunciation uh, about the compound nouns, so how do you pronounce this one? Newspaper. 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 Continue. Footprint. Footprint. Continue. Classroom. 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 Grandmother. 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 Keyboard. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Stop sign. Solar power. Solar power. Solar Golf ball. And there's a golf ball. Pretty good. Great pronunciation. Okay, people, listen. Um, I will check list attendance. And meanwhile, I check list, list attendance. So if able to go over the the platform and work over there, please. If we have like two or three minutes more so you can complete the activities we saw tonight. Mientras yo paso la asistencia, ayúdenme a completar los eh, ejercicios de la plataforma. Voy a pasar la asistencia un poquito rápido para lograr cerrar con la sesión de esta noche. Ok, let me see. Okay, once again, Ana Margarita. Ana Ruth. No from this group, uh, uh, Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, it's not from this one. Sorry, I got lost. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. No, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Anderson. Armando Antonio. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Present teacher. Cecia Gemina. Present teacher. Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Elmer Alexander. Present teacher. Elsa Noelia. Present. Floricia. Present. Ingrid Esmeralda. Ingrid, are you there? Jaime Iván. 
Karina Yeah. Jamilet. Ok. I'm here, teacher. Carla Gabriela. Kenny Guadalupe. María Imelda. María Wendy. Marisol de Los Ángeles. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Romeo. Here I am, teacher. Ronald Alexander. Present teacher. And Wilfredo. Pretty good. Excellent. I'm So, here. uh, uh, Teacher. we are ready. Tell me. Teacher. Tell A me. mí no me mencionó. What's your name? A mí tampoco. No, My a mí name tampoco. is Lamen Hibar. Ah, don't worry, you are here. Now, lo, los que veo que, que no me contestaron acá. Anderson, Jeremy. Los demás, eh, Ingrid Esmeralda. Ingrid Esmeralda. Sí, present. Ah, ok, Ingrid Esmeralda es here. Carla Gabriela. Present, present. Ok, Carla Gabriela es here. Thank you. Hey, solo una persona faltó. Excellent, pretty good. So, teacher, tell me, teacher. tell me. Mencionara, no sé si fue mi señal, pero no escuché mi nombre. Uh, Igual, yo tampoco. But don't worry, I already checked list Tina. Solo creo que Anderson, Jeremy es la única persona que no, no, no se encuentra entre nosotros. Ok, los demás no se preocupen que ya pasé lista. Ok. Hola, Uh, paso lista. sí, ya. Ya están anotados, ok. Um, no sé si hay alguna inquietud, alguna pregunta. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Marisol de Los Ángeles, give me a second, please. Sí, perfecto. Marisol, Marisol. Yes, Marisol de Los Ángeles Cortés. Sí, por acá está. Ok. Lo dejamos por acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. Este... Manténganse escuchando el audio del ejercicio que vimos ahora